Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about CT polarity and method for changing CT polarity for protection system. So in this video, I will discuss four possible methods for changing CT polarity for in case of protection system. For example, I have taken distance protection of the line. So what is meant by CT polarity? So let us uh, CT have a two terminal in the primary side. We have P1 and P2. If in the city secondary side there exists only one ratio, there is two terminal that is S1 and S2. So P1 and P2 denotes the primary side of the city that is HB side and S1 and S2 denotes the secondary side or LB side of the current transformer. So in the HB side, if current flows from the direction from P1 to P2 direction, then in the uh, for CT connection the current will flow from the CT secondary side from S2 to S1 direction. Again in the HB side if current flows from the P2 to P1 direction then in the LB side or in the CT secondary side direction of the current flowing will be from S1 to S2 direction. So this is the general convention of the current transformer. So let us take a simple example for a distance protection relay which is connected in the substation A end. So uh, disc for uh, discussion, we have uh, taken the example of PICOM P442 relay. So in the general normal conventions, uh, P1 in the HB side of the CT shall be connected towards the bus side and P2 shall be connected towards the line side. And the H2 uh, or CT star point shall be done towards the protective object. Here the protective object is transmission line and that is why H2 is connected and sorted together to form the star point and it is earth. And in the relay terminal, C3, C6, and C9 are represent the uh, positive polarity for red, yellow, and blue phase, uh, respectively. So here, S1 of red, yellow, and blue phase are uh, connected uh, to the C3, C6, and C9 of red, yellow, and blue phase, respectively. And C2, C5, and C8 are sorted together to form the neutral, and it is taken back to the uh, CTJB. So these are the normal convention and connection for the uh, distance protection relay. Now in the normal case, if current flows in the primary side from P1 to P2 direction, the direction of the secondary C secondary shall be from S2 to S1 direction. So in this case, the current in the CT coil of the MICOM P442 relay will flow in the direction of C3 to C2 direction. Since the current flows from C3 to C2 direction, the relay will see this current as a forward direction. Now let us take example that in the HB side, CT is connected towards the bus side. That is P2 is connected towards the bus side and P1 is connected towards the line side. That is the HB side, CT polarity is reverse. And in the CT secondary side, the connection is same as it, it was previous case. So in this case, if current flows from P2 to P1 direction, the direction of the current in the CT secondary side shall be from S1 to S2 direction. Since current is flowing from P2 to P1 direction, the direction of the current from CT secondary will be from S1 to S2 direction. So in the relay coil, the current will flow from C2 to C3 direction. Since current is flowing in the relay coil from C2 to C3 direction, the relay will see this current as a reverse direction. Now, since P2 is connected towards the bus side and P1 is connected towards the line, uh, we have inter interchanged the uh, CT secondary terminal, that is S1 and S2 connection. So here the S2 of uh, red, yellow, and blue phase are connected uh, to the C3, C6, and C9 respectively, and C2, C5, and C8 are sorted together to form the neutral, and it is connected to the CTJB. So here the star point is done towards the bus side and uh, star point is R. That is S1 is uh, sorted together to form the star point and it is R in the CTJB. So if the current flows from the P2 to P1 direction towards the transmission line, the direction of the current will be from S1 to S2 direction in the CT secondary side. So in this case, the direction of the current in the CT coil for the rate phase will be from C3 to C2 direction. So in this case, although in the HB side, the CT polarity reverse, the CT, uh, the MICOM relay will see the current as a forward direction. Since in the primary side, 
the current is flowing towards the transmission line. Now, instead of uh, changing the CT secondary terminal, uh, we have uh, kept the CT sorting towards the protective object that is towards the transmission line that is H2 are sorted together and it is R in the CTJB. So here uh, we have changed the connection in the MICOM relay. That is S1 of red, yellow and blue phase is connected to the C2, C5 and C8 respectively. And C3, C6 and C9 are sorted together and it is uh, from the neutral and it is, it is taken back to the H2 terminal. So in this case, since the polarity in the beside this uh, of the CT is reverse, although the current is flowing towards the transmission line, so the direction of the current is in the HB side is from P2 to P1 direction. So here in the CT secondary side, the direction of the current is from S1 to S2 direction. So the, the current will flow in the MICOM relay from C3 to C2 direction and it will coming back to the S1 by this path. Since uh, the current is flowing from C3 to C2 direction, the relay will see this current as in forward direction. So as per in the HB side, the direction of the current is towards the transmission line. Since the protective object is the transmission line, if fault occur in the transmission line, the direction of the current will be from substation A towards the transmission line. So the relay will see this fault as a forward direction. Now another method of uh, reverse of the CT polarity is by keeping all other connection is same. That is in the HB side CT is connected, uh, P2 is connected towards the bus side and P1 is connected towards the line side. And the CT sorting is done uh, towards the protective object that is H2 is connected uh, of red, yellow and blue phase to from um, the star point and it is sorted or earth in the CTJB. And H1 of red, yellow and blue phase are connected uh, to the C3, C6 and C9 of the MICOM relay respectively. So here's a C2, C5 and C8 are sorted together to form the neutral and it is taken back to the H2 of the CTJB. So in this case, if the current is flowing towards the transmission line, the direction of the current uh, flow will be from P2 to P1 direction in the HP side. So in the CT secondary side, the direction of the current will be from S1 to S2 direction and in the relay coil, the direction of the current will be from C2 to C3 direction. The relay will see this current as a reverse direction although current is flowing towards the transmission line. So in the CTs, in the CT's polarity setting in the relay, my P442, there is an option of the CT polarity. So in this case, we can change the CT polarity as reverse. By changing this CT polarity reverse, the relay will change, uh, relay will see this current as a forward direction, although the current is flowing from C2 to C3 direction. So these are the all possible way we can change the CT polarity for protection system. So friends, if you like my video, then do subscribe my channel and also please press bell button for notification of video to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.